Thank you very much, everybody. Um, my name is Bob Coley. I'm the managing partner at RTS Global Partners. Um, they, you know, once, someone once told me, if you're going to speak publicly, make sure you don't go before lunch. <laughs> I said to them, why not? I can be the appetizer. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you food for thought. Okay? I'm going to give you something to think about. At RTS, our motto is when you step on the stage, when you talk to anybody, deliver value. Deliver something that someone can use almost immediately after they've left the room. And that's what I'm going to do today. Okay? Before I do that, though, Dr. Rashid, His Excellency, I'd really like to thank you for this platform. Uh, as RTS Global Partners, we love coming here year after year and sharing our passion, which is family business. Uh, a little bit about the company before I get into the presentation. Uh, we are a leading family business advisory firm. We've worked with 120 families across Middle East and Africa regions, supporting them through journeys on the family side, transfer transformational journeys on the family side, as well as on the business side. On the family side, to be honest, I don't have much time to spend on it today. I'll give you just maybe 10 seconds of it, which is we basically take a family through a multi-year journey, starting with a business family, which is business first, family second, and through a series of transformations, putting them as a family business. Family first, business second. And finally, through a series of further transformations, a family office with an investor-like plug-and-play model. That's on the family side. If you're interested in learning more about it, please come talk to me during lunch or coffee. Another area that we engage with our family clients is also on the business side. And again, business transformation. So when we talk about business transformation, which is actually, to be honest, the buzzword of the day, given the market and how it's performing, we're thinking about, we're thinking about four different areas. Strategy, execution, people, and finance. So strategy, I'll go through this really quickly. This is actually a lot deeper than, uh, than I have time for. Strategy is basically about do we have an aligned vision? As a leadership, do we see the same market opportunity? And are we going for it in the same way? Are we aligned on that? Do we have the right market segments and do we have the right brand positioning, market positioning, to be able to capture that opportunity? That strategy. Execution is about resourcing. And do we have the right level of resources? Are they all pointed in the right direction? Are they all working in unison, step by step, towards their strategic objectives? People. Do I have the right people? The leaders, the second line below them, all the way down to the office boy. Do I have the right people, and here's the buzzword, to lead my company into the future? to lead my company into the future, all of them from top to bottom. And finally, finance. Uh, I have a mentor at the company, he's our CEO, William Daly, a brilliant financier. And he says to me, in this market, what's your priority, balance sheet or P&L? What do you think? Anybody? Sorry? Wrong, balance sheet. Balance sheet. It's all about the balance sheet. Companies that survive challenging times are balance sheet driven. They are balance sheet driven. At the expense of profits, they are trying to solidify their foundations so that when they make it through the downturn, they're on an upswing. Now, that's four pillars. The question I have is, which is the most important? So let's do a show of hands, right? How many of us think strategy is the most important? Great. Excellent, yep, say about 10% of the room. How many of us think execution is key in this market? Mm, interesting, okay, only a few people, two, three hands going up. How many think people is the most important? Ah, there we go. We're in a people conference, of course it's the most important. How many think finance is the most important? Okay, you must be the CFOs. <laughs> so to be honest, they're all important, but I get called upon my clients I get called upon by my clients to come in and assess how do I transform the business. And I'll tell you, my starting point is here. I'll use a great quote that I saw two days ago from His Excellency. I have seen mega projects succeed against all the odds, and I have seen smaller scale projects 
fail regardless of the methodology or tools. I have separated these experiences and I came to the conclusion that the critical success factor was not the methodology or the tools, but rather the right people. I agree, 100%. In this market, the difference between winning companies and losing companies is the people. It's that simple. The right people will reinvigorate your strategy. They'll make it dynamic. They'll get the right information from the market. They will make sure that the steps you're taking forward towards your objectives are the right steps. So they will also improve execution. And finance, they will work with the right customers. They will collect money. They will think about their own pocketbook, of course, but they will also think about the company's pocketbook. That's what the right people does. It reinvigorates this whole, this whole scheme. But the question, the, the challenge I always get back from my clients when I say this is, the right people cost money. Heard that before? Yeah? The right people cost money. Wrong. They don't. So I'm going to close that cycle in a couple of slides, okay? I promise. When we think about the people, though, yeah, we love that picture, right? It's about the right individual. Do we have the right individuals in our company? Do they have the right skills? And I'm going to say a word here, natural skills. Do they have the right natural skills to be able to perform their job? Are they in the right roles? Do they have the right resources that gets to team? Do they have the right people around them? Am I blending my teams in the right way to have the right team? And then finally, to be honest, I don't have any time to spend on the right, but that's a foundational pillar, which is the culture. Do I have the right culture in my organization? Culture, what is culture? His Excellency talked about this. Vision, values, systems, processes to enable, to drive and develop. His book talks about the three pillars of getting the full potential out of people. Determine, drive, and develop. Culture is about driving and developing.